In today's video, I will show you how to do smooth text animation in Adobe Premiere Pro, just like this right here in the bottom corner. It really makes a big difference between a beginner or a professional and text animator in Adobe Premiere Pro, because almost no beginner knows about this or actually does it, and it just instantly makes your text animation look so much more professional. Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ines Alea and today it's Tip Trick Tuesday. If you want to see more from me be sure to hit that subscribe button, also click on the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos and check out our website, links are in the description, we have a bunch to offer for filmmakers. But without further ado, let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, see how we do some really smooth text animation action and let's get started. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have a fresh new project and what I want to do is actually create a new sequence right here and I'll go for a full HD sequence. So if you go to settings on uh, just a simple 24 timeline uh, 1920 by 1080 and I will click OK. Now what I want to do is create a nice text animation and in this case I'm going to be making a kind of lower thirds. And for people that already know me um, and have seen my previous videos, they know that I have one preferred font that I also will be using in this video. It's called Lado. So yeah, let's get started. Let's click on the text tool right here and then just click in our project uh, monitor right here. So click over here and we'll write Instagram. So as you can see, I'm already using the font Lado right here. And I also have some spacing right here. So basically we want two windows to be open in order to edit this text. One is essential graphics and one is the effects controls. The effects controls is used to manipulate any kind of layer. If we actually zoom in on our layer here, we can see that it's quite short. So we'll make this a little bit longer, like five seconds and zoom in a little bit more even. Okay, there we go. So for five seconds, we have our text and we have our effects controls right here. The essential graphics, it's possible that you don't see that. You can go to window essential graphics right here. So let's take a look at the essential graphics first. We go to edit, click on our text, and right here we want to make sure that it's actually uh, aligned to the left uh, as so. So I have the Lado font in a black kind of uh, tiling, which makes it a little bit uh, thicker, makes it look a little bit better. Then I also make it kind of small right here um, because it's something subtle. It's kind of a lower thirds that we want to do, so I'm also going to fit it like this. Uh, let's go to the selection tool and actually reposition it even better. There we go. We can also size it like this. There we go. And then I also right here, I actually gave it some spacing. We can go for like 150. Um, this really kind of makes it a little bit more cinematic. In my personal opinion, I think this really uh, does a lot. If we have it kind of, um, yeah, kind of glued together, it doesn't really look so professional in my opinion. It needs some breathing space uh, just like this. Okay, so we have our first text. What I want to do is actually click on this layer in my timeline, hold Alt and drag one on top of it. Now we have two different layers and on that second layer, I actually want to re um, yeah, change my text layer. First, I will go to my selection tool, click on that text and actually hold Shift and drag it down like this. Then I want to go to the text tool again and select that text, double click to change it, instagram.com slash Ineas Alea. For example this is my instagram and uh, which you can also follow by the way but yeah let's select our text and go over here and change this to a lighter font so we have some variation going on maybe like a regular something like that we can also select it and kind of decide to go for maybe an l caps anyway so this is also pretty cool um, and also i want to make it a little bit smaller even or we want to make the other one bigger so we have more variation so click on the instagram double click and maybe make this a little bit bigger, just like this. So now we have our text, we have no animation whatsoever. Let's click on the Instagram first and do the animation for this one. So actually we wanna do an animation in at one second, which you can see right here. And if you zoom in just a little bit more, there we go. We can go to our text here in the essential, uh, in the effects controls, scroll down, and here we can animate our position. So we want to click on the stopwatch for the position right here at one second because that's where we want it to be in this exact location. Then move maybe to three seconds and create another keyframe by clicking on this diamond 
uh, right here, add or remove a keyframe. So now you will see two keyframes. All we need to do is go to the beginning and now kind of change the position. So what we wanna do is either play with the uh, Y value or the X value. What I wanna do is play with the X value and actually kind of get my screen, uh, my text off screen. So now we have this animation in, uh, as you can see, very linear, very abrupt, nothing professional to it, but this is basically what we need in the beginning. And at four seconds, we actually want to kind of move it off screen, maybe to the right. It's completely up to you. But now we have a very standard animation that most beginners will probably end by and just say, and just call it a day. But we want to take it to the next level and make it smooth. But to do this, it's actually really simple. What we want to do is select or center two keyframes because actually the beginning keyframe we don't see because it's off screen, it doesn't matter. We want it to kind of speed in and come to a slow smooth stop and that's what's gonna make your text animation look professional so select your two keyframes right click and select temporal interpolation continuous bezier and as you can see your keyframes will actually change in this kind of hourglass icons and now we have something like this Okay, it looks a little bit better, a little bit smoother, but still not quite right. What we want to do is open up the arrow here under the position and now you will see these kind of graphics which kind of look kind of daunting if it's the first time that you're working with this, but it's so simple to use. And if you click on this kind of uh, keyframe right here, you can actually see these two kind of anchor points. You can actually select these and select this first one right here and click on it, hold it and then drag it down and to the left. So now we have a kind of fast animation. This, this ramp is actually very readable. You can see it's very fast right here, slowly comes to a stop right here, and then boom, it goes very quickly away. But we want to slowly kind of, it's kind of an elastic animation effect that we want to create here. So if we select that second keyframe, select the anchor points right here, and actually drag the last one down in this case, and then also to the right, you will see that it slowly ramps up in speed. So that's basically what it does. It's kind of like skate park. You go fast, you come here, you slowly go to the next ramp and ramp up and go all the way. So now if you look at this animation, look how clean and smooth that is. It's so beautiful. Okay, so we have our first animation done. What we wanna do is do this, uh, the second one and then add some finishing touches to make it look even more professional. Okay, so let's go to the beginning right here for our second one. Also go to one second and make a keyframe for the position. Then go to three seconds and also make another keyframe. Go to the beginning and this one we want to actually animate on Y, maybe down like this. So it animates up and then maybe we want to animate it off screen up like this. Okay, again, we're going to select these two in the center, right click temporal interpolation, continuous, bezier. We're going to open up the arrows and select the first one, drag it in like this, second one, drag it to the right, and there we go. Now we have this kind of animation. And if you think something goes too fast, we can still go back and kind of uh, go into our graph editor and maybe doesn't, don't make it as abrupt and just shorten this right here. So actually, we select this first one can make it a little bit shorter and play around with the settings basically. Okay, there we go. And it ramps up and speed up. And actually I want this last one to actually go a little bit faster and go a little bit faster. There we go. And it's all about timing, honestly, but uh, yeah, this is just a brief preview on how to do it. But as you can see, when it comes in or when it actually leaves, it's actually at a pretty high speed, but you can see the text clearly. In real life, if you look at video, it's gonna be blurry because it happens so fast. And this is going to make it look very unprofessional if you're gonna keep it this way. So what we wanna do is go to the effects right here. So go to effects and search for the directional motion blur, uh, well actually the directional blur under blur and sharpen. If we don't search, we can simply go to video effects, blur and sharpen, directional blur, and drag this onto one of your layers. So let's start with this bottom one. And what we wanna do is actually uh, find that spot when it's actually in its position that it should come to. 
and click on the keyframe for the blur length. The direction we want to set to 90 by the way, or actually um, zero in this case, and then go back a little bit and kind of increase the blur until you're satisfied, something like that. Now we want to bring this keyframe to the beginning so it actually uh, starts at that uh, size. And then also for the second keyframe, we want to again do the continuous Bezier and kind of do the same animation we did for um, the animation itself, like this. And now you will have a kind of motion blur, which make it look a lot more realistic. Of course, maybe this is exaggerated, so blur length of 10 would, do, uh, would be more than enough. And then at the end, we want to do the same thing, create a new keyframe, and then off screen, we want it to be like 10 again. Again, we want to animate that anchor point. Okay. And maybe even a little bit more than 10 here because we have a faster kind of animation. And we can see if we pause the video right here, it's going to be blurry. And that's exactly what we want because you're honestly just going to see it in, 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 in animation and it's going to make the animation look a lot more natural and more realistic. So let's go to the second one and do the same here. So we'll just apply the directional blur to the Instagram text. Go over here to this keyframe where the position is set correctly and click on the blur length here. Go over here, also create a keyframe for the blur length at zero here. And then also change the direction in this case to 90 because we're working on the X axis this time. Then go to the beginning, set it at 25 and at the end right here, can use these keyframes as reference to 25. Select the center ones, right click, continuous Bezier, open up the arrow right here, and just select these here, and bring it in. And there you go, you have your nice and smooth text animation. Okay, so what you wanna do is at the end of your animation, we want to trim our video layer down a little bit. And on the top, you will see these kind of blue bars, which you can also use and drag on top of your keyframes, just so that the keyframes are entirely covered by this gray area. And this way you can actually extend your animation and that will actually follow along with the exact, uh, and the keyframes will follow along with the text itself. So in the middle, you will see the text in the center. So that will actually slow down the animation without having to readjust your keyframes. If you wanna make it shorter, you can do the same thing. Boom, and now you can see the keyframes actually stick in, uh, in position. So the intro and the outro stays the same, only the center part gets cut out. So that's basically what we wanna do to do some uh, quick and smooth text animations. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and hit that bell icon so you get notified if I upload new videos. Also, be sure to check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists just like you. Links are in the description. And then I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.